welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume and other fun stuff. Today, I'm super excited to be talking about the house of Anima Vinci. And I placed an order for an Anima Vinci discovery set and I have received it just today. So I really couldn't wait to get on here and talk about this. I heard about this house from Lola Sense. I'll link Lola's channel and some of her videos below. She's got a great channel. If you're not watching Lola, she's amazing. She just recently did her collection videos. She did a three part collection. She's got a beautiful, beautiful collection. So this is my discovery set that just like I said, came today and I'm already in love with the house because I ordered this sample set and this is a German niche house. So I ordered this on February 9th. On February 22nd, I received a um, notice that my order was going to be delayed and a $60 coupon. So that was, I believe, 50, 50 euros, which translates to 60 pounds, I believe. So they sent me basically a gift certificate for $60 off a bottle of perfume. And then I received this on March 8th. So that really, really really impressed me. I ordered an eyeshadow palette on February 18th and today, March 8th, I still haven't even received a shipping notice for that eyeshadow palette. So this came from Germany and by the way that eyeshadow palette's coming from within the US. So I am so impressed. This cost 30 euros and I don't have the translation at my fingertips. I should have looked it up before but I'll put it up on the screen. So this was 30 euros and 5 euros for shipping. So and it comes with all of these beautiful samples. So it comes with nine samples and I'm so excited. So I haven't looked up the notes yet. Of course, I'll put them up on the screen, but I have not looked up really any information um, since I got these. But so these are 1.5 milliliter samples. This first one is called Jasmine Yang and I assume it's a Jasmine fragrance. Nice sprayers. Mm, it's a beautiful Jasmine very refreshing and white flowers and um, beautiful for spring or summer, I would imagine. So it's just like this super beautiful, classy white floral and it's not like overpowering. It's like a very clean, soft, like super elegant, just gorgeous. So that's Jasmine Yang. The next one is called Lime Spirit and I assume this is a citrus. I just love their bottle designs too, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. So this has, in addition to citrus, I feel like I'm getting vetiver, some woods, some resins maybe. Definitely gender neutral. Um, I'm not sure if that's vetiver, but I do tend to mistake other ingredients sometimes for vetiver. So this smells what I associate with the vetiver but I'm not sure. So, but it smells really good. Really beautiful. As it dries down, it changes and it kind of morphs into something a little more soft and a little more, more sweet and very beautiful. So this one I think is going to take you on a journey. So I've got two little um, samples of Lime Spirit in here for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but um, that may be like maybe the set came with eight and I, I'm not sure. But anyway, the next one is called Neroli Wisdom which I assume is going to be Neroli based. Mmm, wow, that is beautiful. Oh, this is, oh my gosh, this is stunning. It's Neroli and citrus. It's really gorgeous. It's so elegant and it's so unique and different from what I'm used to from a Neroli fragrance. Oh, and I feel like all of these fragrances are going to take you on a journey. It's so beautiful. Um, Neroli Wisdom. Love that. The next one is Oud Delight. Mm. So that's a really beautiful Oud. Even though the fragrances seem to be kind of an homage to one particular ingredient, that ingredient isn't like so loud and in your face. It's like complemented by these other notes and ingredients and accords that just make them so beautiful. And this one, this is, I have a lot of oud in my collection and this is such a smooth, beautiful oud can sometimes be a little clangy and a little sharp 
and a little screechy, but this is like smooth and beautiful. Totally gender neutral, stunning. The next one is Rose Prana. I also have a lot of rose in my collection. Beautiful, very soft and, and well blended again. You know, you get the rose, but you get other things too. It's not just about the rose. Gorgeous. Then I've got Sesame Chan here, and I've been really curious about this one because you don't hear of too many fragrances where Sesame is the star note. So, mmm. Beautiful. That's like so rich. This, is, this one is a little more winter friendly, I think. Like there were quite a few kind of summer and spring floral type. This one's a little more rich and if I had to compare it to something, it reminds me slightly of Zara Fields at Nightfall, which I love. So it's really smooth and beautiful or commodity gold, maybe beautiful. I don't, I'm not getting the sesame yet, but, but this is gorgeous. This one is called Tudo Azul. And I remember Lola, Lola Sense talking about this one. And I think she got a full bottle of this one. Mm. So it's fruity. It's very like ugh, gorgeous summer, elegant, fresh, floral, fruity, beautiful. Um, I can already see, I can already tell I'm gonna have a hard time deciding which is my favorite, but I will test these more thoroughly. This is just my first impressions. But this is gorgeous, um, no question. And the last one is Wood of Life. So I'm assuming it's gonna be sandalwood, but there are lots of other woods one could use. Mm. These are all so, so beautiful and elegant and, oh. And I wanna say the full bottles are $180 if I'm remembering correctly. So, you know, they're expensive, but they're not like ridiculous to me. My ridiculous threshold is probably anything over 220. That's kind of random, but that's, I don't know, 250 maybe. Once you get past that, it's kind of like, is it really worth that? I don't know, that's just me. This is beautiful, um, very elegant and gender neutral. It's not leaning particularly, like you might think a wood-based fragrance would lean masculine. It's not to me, it's very in the middle. And that's the same with all of these. These are really great gender neutral options. And um, I'm kind of blown away, frankly, that I was already super excited because of that experience. Like. Uh, I was just kind of like, wow, it was only less than two weeks. I think it was 10 days in that I got that delay notice and that gift certificate. And then, so I've been so excited to get these and they came today and it's, it's, it's amazing. And so thank you to Lola for cluing me into this because I'm really, really looking forward to experimenting with these and giving them further wear tests. I wanted to get on here right away and share my first impressions because I was so excited. Have you tried this house? I would love to hear your thoughts about the house down in the comments. So let me know if you've tried any of these, which ones have you tried? What did you love? And anything else that you'd like to chat about? Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.